Hi everybody, so today we're going to do a review of the KJV cross-reference study Bible. This one is the women's edition and it is thumb indexed. So it comes in a nice sleeve. So let's look at the back and see what some of these features are. So there is the information about this edition. So you could pause and read that if you would like. And then we're going to come down here and look at all these study features. So we're going to have 56 pages of full color topical study and devotional content, which is made for women. So a lot of neat stuff in there. We've got 25,000 plus center column cross references, 6,500 study notes. We've got book introductions. This is red letter. We've got uh, character profiles, Bible background articles. We've got Q and A's that are scattered throughout the Bible, charts and lists, messianic prophecies, parallel passages. This one is thumb indexed has a dictionary concordance and full color maps. So there is an example of our font that we're going to see inside this one. Here's our ISBN number. It tells us it's the Floral Berry Indexed and it retails for $39.99. And I will put links in the description box for Amazon, but you can also find this one on christianbook.com as well. And if you're looking at this one and you like the features on it, but this one might be too girly for you, there is another edition as well, so check my videos for this one as well. And as soon as that video is done, I will link it in the description box for this one. So it may not be initially ready on there, but uh, eventually, once I post them both, it will be in there. So this one here, it's a nice size, nice, easy to take with you. So really a portable study Bible, which is really nice to have that many references and something that you can easily take with you. So this one here is going to measure eight and five eighths inches tall by a six and a quarter wide and it is an inch and a quarter thick. The gold gilding on this one is absolutely gorgeous the way they've done this. You can see those lines on there and that's because those sections that are for women are on a card stock and so you can see those lines and that's where all of those are going to be. So we have a nice curved book block. We can already see right there that we do have the thumb indexing so with the gold tabs and the words in black. Really nice and easy to see. This bottom section in some lights, in most lights it looks tan, in others it kind of looks gray, but I do think it's more of a tan, like, like a taupe maybe. And we've got all that stitching on there. It's stitched all the way around the perimeter. And then this is going to be the floral berry. So it's got those, that nice floral design. And it's kind of hard to see, but it does have a really nice shimmer on that so it's really pretty this section might be a little slippery so if you're carrying it you may want to kind of make sure your hand is primarily on this bottom section so it doesn't slide out of your hand on our spine we have the kjv cross-reference study bible women's edition thumb indexed and the barber logo we're going to have a paper paste down liner which is very typical for an imitation leather style bible we'll have our title page we we'll have a content section with the books of the Old and New Testament. And then we're going to get in here, and this is going to be an introduction to this Bible. So as we come down here, it's going to give us all these special features. And so one thing that you'll want to note is on the Messianic Prophecy. So that's the little symbol for that. And then we've got this here for the parallel passages. So we'll see those as we get into this. We do have the Epistle Dedicatory. So that's always nice to have. And then we've got a list of the types of books in the Bible. So if we look down here at the Old Testament, it tells us that there are the law books and it tells us how many. So that's kind of cool. We've got the history books, the wisdom and poetic books, and then also major and minor prophets. If we hop over to the New Testament, we've got our four gospels, the history of the early church. We've got the Pauline epistles, the general epistles, and the apocalyptic writing. Now we're going to get right into the Old Testament. And you can see right here that there is going to be some ghosting. And it is fairly heavy, but uh, I'm going to show you kind of one trick to cut down on the ghosting. So I have just a sheet of some black cardstock here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide that behind that page there. We're going to see that that's going to help us cut down on the ghosting. So if you have a Bible that you really like, but the ghosting is just too much, you can see that that gets rid of a bunch of it just right there. So that's one little trick that you may want to try. 
So up top we're going to have our book introduction with the introduction to Genesis, the author and occasion. Then we're going to get right down into our text. So we can see that it is a double column format with center column references. And one nice thing that a lot of you might like is we can see that it is verse by verse. So that is really nice. Our references in the center are nice and easy to find. So we've got our verse number one and our reference number one there. As we drop down, we can see like the nine. So it just makes it really easy to see. We've got 17 and it's going to be over here. So it does make it easy to find those because they're not always going to be lined right up, especially in a smaller Bible that they're trying to make it a little bit more compact. So our text in this one here, our biblical text, is going to be an 8-point font. And then down here in our notes, we're going to be a 7-point font. I can get a hold of that there. Get you a little bit more of a close-up on that font. So we can see the ghosting there, but if it's too bad for you, then just try that trick of putting some black paper behind it. And then there's an example of our notes, which are the seven point font. And so right as we get into Genesis here, we're going to see some of those extra features. So we've got these Q&As that are scattered throughout the Bible. And these are actually really neat. So this one is, why did God need to rest on the seventh day of creation? So it's short enough and small enough that you can... As you're reading through, you can pause and read these, and they're really neat. Here is one of our articles on the fall of humankind that we're going to get in. We're going to see one of our character profiles. So that is really neat. And then we're going to get in here to our ribbon. So we've got one ribbon. It is just a single-sided satin. So this side is going to be flat. And it could be like an inch longer because it is fairly short once you get it over there. But it does, at least it has one, so that is always good. And then this is going to be some of the features that gear this one towards women. So these are going to be cardstock pages. And so when we were seeing the gilding and we seen those lines, it's because of these pages here. So I'll get you a little close up here. So this is going to be, this is titled Real Wisdom. So Life's Value. And life begins at conception. So and it's got some nice scripture there. And so these are really nice to read. And the font on these is a little bit larger than a 10 from my font chart. But you're going to have all of these different pages here. So we've got rights and rules. The path to God. And these are all things that are for women. And so they're just really neat. Like we've got God's marriage. So marriage is between a man and a woman. And then one thing that we can see down here is our stitching. So evidence of our nice sewn binding. And so now that we get into it a little bit, it's going to lay flat. But I'm pretty sure that this would lay flat a little bit closer into the Bible once it's broken. So we've got lots of sections on here that have this throughout the Bible. So those are really neat. So this is just a great Bible for women. So we're going to go through and look at some of those. And each one's going to be a little bit different. Like you can see that this is a different page color. And these are titled with the Finding Joy. So there will be a few pages there. And then we're going to have the sections on Be a Prayer Warrior. So great devotional type Bible for women. The way that it's got all of these in there. Again, we can see some more stitching down there. But really a great little Bible, especially for women, because you've got all these extra features. So there's another one of our character profiles. But if we were to flip through here, like there's another Q&A. There's another one. So a lot of stuff is in this Bible. So as we just kind of randomly flip through, you're going to see several pages that may not have anything. And then you're going to find others that you have something almost three or four pages in a row. So it's going to just kind of depend also, I think, on like what section of the Bible you're in. So this one is going to be a section on trusting God, if I can get a hold of that. So a lot of great articles throughout this, which are really neat. So this would make an awesome devotional if you're looking for a good cross-reference Bible that's not real big, but you also want to have some study aids and study material in there. This would be a great one to get. All right, so we're going to get a hold of this page if I can get a hold of it. These are pretty thin pages, so that's why there's that quite a bit of ghosting. So there's an article on 
Jesus there. And I'm going to flip this over so we can see that a little bit better. And then so when you have a Bible that you've got a lot of ghosting, you know, you can see right there that that got rid of a lot of it. So these are going to be the parallel passages that we've seen that little symbol of in the front of the Bible. And I'm not sure if we'll see an example of the Messianic Prophecy symbol, but which is going to be in the cross-reference section. So this Bible is also red letter. So we'll get you a close-up of the red letter. Boy, these pages are just so thin, it's hard to get a hold of them. So there's an example of our red letter. So it's a nice shade of red, not too bright. So it's not really distracting at all. So let's see if there's any black on the other side. So it looks like red on both sides there. So probably would have been better if I found a section that has black on the other side because then that you can really tell the difference on there. So we've got the black on this side and the red over here, but it doesn't look too bad. So nothing that's too distracting. And there's quite a few pages in this one as I've been flipping through it that I can see the stitching in. So this section here, these are really neat. I like these pages. So this is going to be 30 Bible readings for real wisdom. So I'm going to get you a little bit closer. So it says this Bible reading plan corresponds with the devotions found in the real wisdom section of this Bible. So we've got sections that show life's value. So if you read one of these every day, that's going to give you a month worth there. Now we're going to have 30 days with great women of the Bible. So if we look... You could read one of these every day and it's going to give you all the different women of the Bible, where to find them within the Bible. So that's really neat. We've got 30 Bible readings on finding joy, 30 days with Jesus. We've got 30 Bible readings on being a prayer warrior, on friendship and relationships, on leading the way, and for growing in your faith. So these pages are really awesome to be able to go and check those out because like we've got obedience matters, obedience to truth. And so if you took all these pages here and just read one from each section per day and read one every day of the month, I think that would be a great way to utilize this Bible. This section here is on uh, common Bible questions. So how can I be sure that God exists? Then it also has discussion questions. So if you were maybe going to use this Bible in like one of your women's groups. You might be able to get out all the women one of these and then you would all kind of be on the same page. You could have all these discuss discussions on these. But really neat. And again, there is some more of that stitching. So there is a lot of evidence of the sewn binding in this particular one. Then we get into some of the Bible promises. Then we're going to get back to the end of the Bible here. So at the end of Revelation, we've got an article on the last battle. So that is an interesting article. And then we get into the Dictionary Concordance. So it's not real big. It's not super extensive. But this is also meant to be a more lightweight and portable Bible. So if we get closer to it, we do see that the words are in bold. So that is really nice. And again, you can kind of see the ghosting there. So if ghosting bothers you, then this one might not be one for you. But we're going to do our little trick again and see how much of a difference that makes for us. So we go back to it and bam, that's a lot, lot better. So definitely, you know, if you have a Bible that you really like, but the ghosting gives you a headache, try that little trick. It might be useful for you. All right, we're going to get into the maps back here. So we're going to have eight full color maps and these are going to be on a, like a glossy, not really a card stock. It's a little bit, uh, thinner than a cardstock, but it is glossy. You can kind of see the, the glare on there from the light, but they are full color. And I don't think I have any other Bibles that have these maps in them, so they are kind of unique. Again, we can see more stitching through the center of this. So I'm pretty confident that once this is broken, that it's going to lay flat for me. That's if it doesn't. More than likely, this one will be gifted to somebody who doesn't have one. Typically, all my publisher editions go to someone that doesn't have one. But again, this is just a really pretty Bible for women. And if this is too feminine for you, then I'll give you a shot of what the men's kind of... Well, it's not necessarily men's, but a little more masculine looking. So 
you could get like his and hers and have kind of a matching pair this one's not thumb indexed but i will put a link in the description box for this video and then in this video i'll link this one as well so you'll be able to kind of see them both on each one of the videos but this one that we looked at today is the kjv cross-reference study bible women's edition and it is thumb indexed and so we're going to check out the ISBN number and then definitely check out the link in the description box because you can definitely find this for less on christianbook.com as well as Amazon. And I would like to thank the publisher for sending these out for review. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.